Okay, so this week we're gonna work on a book jacket project. So I have taken the book jackets off of a couple of these books. Um, this is a series of books. Um, pyramids are in this one, castles are in this one. And I put them up on the board for your benefit. So if you'll take a look, um, these they have tabs in the front and the back. So this is the back tab and on it, it talks about the author. So I'm wanting you to actually not, not, you don't have to put the picture there, but I want you to talk about the artist, which is you. So in this area of the book, you're gonna talk about why, what you did and how you did it, why you chose the book, that sort of thing. Um, in the write-up, um, on the overview, you will notice that I want you to do your favorite book, but I, you know, I want you to talk about, about a book. This second area, which is the back cover, um, because when you lay this book out, see if when you open the book, and you actually lay it out, the front cover is on the right, the back cover is on the left. So it's sort of laid out backwards on a piece of paper. So that's something you need to, to really pay attention to, is that um, you, want, you want to make sure that you lay it out correctly. Because if you take this piece of paper, let's say this is your project, um, and this is the piece of paper, you realize that... Over here on this first area, that's why I've got it labeled this way, that's where the, the art is about the artist. This is the back cover, and it has a summary of the book on it, okay? It also, this one went ahead and put the same title there and then did it. This one did not. It's just a summary of the book. Either way is fine. Notice how the cover is a whole piece of artwork. So part of it starts on the back and it moves over into the front. This third area is the actual front. When you look at the book, that's the part you see, okay? But when it's laid out, it's actually way over here. Okay, it's not, it looks like maybe it isn't the main thing, but it is. All right, and on that front cover, or area three here, this part, um, it's got the title, and typically it would have the artist's name, or excuse me, not the artist, but the author's name, all right? I don't want your name there, but I want the, the author of the book on there, okay? And then this first, the front tab, area four, um, on this part, um, that's where the critics um, usually do some sort of an endorsement. So what I'm looking for there is someone that says, oh, this book is the greatest of its time, you know, the, the New York Times, or um, a must read on the subject of whatever it is that you're talking about, and then you might the Chicago Tribune or, or whatever the critics are um, for that. All right, so let's move over this way a little bit, okay? Um, the first area I went over, this first area, it's, the, it's about the artist. The second has a summary, and you must put the source of that summary on there. <laughs> I misspelled source, now I'm gonna get it right. Summary and the source, that's area two. Area three is the title with the author. Number four is the critics' endorsements of the book, okay? Now, the work must be original, so it absolutely has to be, you know, your work. If it's castles or pyramids, I don't need it to look just like theirs. I need it to be your own work, okay? And it must fit a real book. We're going to work on that in just a second. It is due Friday, November the 3rd, all right? So we've, we've got some time with that, all right? In your slide presentation for the week, slide one will be a cover slide with your, with your name um, and the title book jacket. Slide two is a photo of the entire work project laid out flat, just like I've got it laid out there. Um, the slide three is a photo of the back tab and the back cover. So I'm gonna switch sides for a second. All right, so I'm just wanting a picture of this part. That's slide three. And I need it where I can read it. So it needs to be, you know, big enough where I can read it. The fourth photo will be the front cover and the front tab, which is this part. Just this part, just this. Where I can read it, so that I can read all of that. And the last part is your artist statement, which is six sentences, and I want you to to answer those why questions. You know, why'd you do it? Uh, wh why did you use the colors you had? That sort of thing. All right, so I laid this one out for us here on the board. And we're gonna just walk over 
here to where, um, where I have a book laid out. Okay, so with that, um, I took a regular piece of paper. It's a pretty good size piece of paper. So at home, if you don't have that, and this is the size of a normal sheet of drawing paper. So you just take two or three and tape them together. All right, I got a smaller type of book. Realize, I'm not going to do a book jacket on MC Escher. I'm gonna do a book jacket on something I want, but I'm gonna use this as a template book. All right, so I take my whole piece of paper and I fold it in half. Okay, so that's my big first step. Then I put my book into it. Notice that I put my book all the way on the bottom and all of my excess is at the top. Okay, I'm gonna take that and lay it back down flat. I'm going to fold in over the front for that tab that would go in the front. I'm gonna fold over on the back for the tab that goes on the back, like that. Okay, I've created a book jacket. Now in order to make it the correct size, I pull up a little bit so that when I go to cut, I can cut all of the paper at once. And I just keep it off of the book a little bit, about the same distance here to the book as I am there to the book. You might not be able to see that very well, but there's the book. All right, so that when I put it back down, that my cover co covers it, all right? So then when I go to lay it out to work with it, I have all of those tabs. This tab being tab one, where I want the artist information. This is the back cover, where I want the summary. This is the front cover, the thing that has the title and the name of the artist. And, excuse me, and the name of the author. I do that every time. And this part is where the critics would talk about why you should buy the book or why somebody would want to read it. Okay? Now, the rest of this information is on Canvas, but these are the more technical pieces of the day. So, thank you very much.